Hey, Chelsea Bites here, and today I am bringing you a special video. We're gonna be going over my new build for our to-go streams. Whenever we travel, we always have to lug tons and tons of equipment. Well, no more. We have made something called the to-go box, and it is just a consolidated, tiny stream setup that is easy to take on a plane, in your car, wherever you're traveling. So you don't you know, end up breaking something because it's, I don't know, unwieldy or whatever. So I'll be showing that off today. And this does include my recently built mini PC, thanks to the Xtia case. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead, check it on out. It's the last video that we posted. And of course I'll provide a link, but here we go. So of course, I'm gonna show you what we'll be using. We're gonna start with our mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna be using the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. And this is just easy, lightweight. And then we'll also be using the Logitech G915 TKL keyboard. So the reason why we chose these is that these are truly just chameleons of their type. They can go between any setup, wired, wireless, you name it. Of course, the mouse has DPI controls, so we can just go from being competitive Apex Legends or just chilling playing The Sims. And what I love about this keyboard is that it just works. Bluetooth, its own wireless hardware, and you can just plug it in, simple. As for my headset, I'll be using the Logitech G Pro X wireless headset. And this is really, really good. I gotta say, I love that it has its own hardware, so you can just connect, plug in with your USB, just plug it straight into your computer and you're set. And I have to say, for a headset mic, it is much, much better than I would expect from headset mics. I will hop in a Discord call and I sound clear, smooth. And the theme, wireless. So <laughs> right in the title, perfect. Okay, let's talk audio. What are you gonna talk through, Chelsea? Well, I am currently using the Wireless Go mic by Rode and I love it. I think it really picks up on everything that you need. It isolates your voice very well. There's actually a version where you can get two of these mics. So if you're not aware of how it works, there is a receiver that is on this camera at the moment. And this is my transmitter. So it literally just wirelessly works and transmits to my camera. And as a backup, we'll be using the Elgato Wave 3 mic. Now, of course, you do have to plug this in, but I love that it's just easy just to turn the button off and you can cycle through all of your options right here on this dial button. So just really, really convenient. Now, of course, it's a backup. I, <laughs> it's no shade on Elgato to use it as a backup. You always, has, you always have a backup for a fail safe setup. Now, I like this because it's super, super small. Like literally, you only have two of these. And I know I'm like touching it, so I'm making noises. But two of these takes up like barely any space whatsoever. But just in case we have to fall back on something, it's not gonna take any skin off of my back just to plug in the Wave 3 and it works. Okay, Chelsea, that's all good and well, but how are you gonna see chat and game? Like what if, how are you gonna do stuff? This one little monitor is not gonna cut it. And if you gotta go run to Best Buy and just grab something that sounds like a waste of money, like now you still gotta ship something back. Well, look no further than the Asus ROG Strix portable gaming monitor. And I just, here, let me, let me show you, let me show you. This baby, 17 inches of just pure goodness. Don't mind the finger stains, okay? 17 inches of just amazing, 1080p, 240 hertz, and can I just say, so easy to set up. Yes, it looks like a tablet, but watch this. Take the stand, you just slide it in, it snaps right on. You pull the legs out, this little button will pop up right in the center so you know that it's all locked in. 
And then from there, you just pull this switch, pull it, and you have a monitor. Like, how easy is that? Of course, lock it in so you're not sliding everywhere. But look at this, a full 17 inch monitor that you can just pull straight out of your bag. And I'm pretty sure this is detachable. So you can just pull this off and, and, and you're just ready to go. I love, 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 love this monitor. It is ingenious. Uh, we'll be going over prices, of course. So <laughs> I'll be sure to I'll be sure to let y'all know how much all of this costs once we get to the end of this setup. I have two of these monitors and we're set. We don't need really anything else. Like you can slide this into the front of your suitcase or we're gonna be putting this all in a box so it'll just slide together. Soft padded, you can just slide two monitors in there and you're done. Like who could ask for more? So I think the best part are these stands. Like, who thinks of this stuff? Like this is just, you would have never thought this was just the stand, like it just pops up. Asus, coolest thing. This is honestly the coolest part of the setup. And I, does the logo in the back light up? I'm gonna find out. There's a nice logo in the back. I'll show y'all later. And then of course, Chelsea, what are you gonna game on? You don't just play PC games all the time. But if you wanna switch to something that you need a controller on, cause I'ma tell you, I tried to use tank controls on my mouse and keyboard and it did not go well. So of course, that means we had to enlist an amazing controller. And that means we got the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller. It is the Series 2. And what's really, really cool about this controller, I, I gotta say, is that you can charge straight from the case. It has a charging dock in the case. Like what? <laughs> That's so cool. And of course you can see that really, really funky looking D-pad. If you want something a little more traditional, it comes with our, our uh, extra you know, controls that you can change. You can change up the analog controls, you can change up the D-pad itself, the back plates, whatever you need. So I just thought this was perfect. It can set up to any sort of Windows setup, just real smooth, real easy, and you can hop in any game however you want. And it just feels nice. It feels really nice. I, I like it. And finally, last but absolutely not least, the PC. I mean, how are you gonna run all of this? We got these nice 240 hertz monitors that are 17 inches, and then we got a really nice controller and all these cool bing fangled peripherals. I talk about the PC. And I'm so happy to present Byte Jr. Jr. <laughs> Byte Jr. Jr. was built in our last video and this build is all about conserving space, but not sacrificing on performance. Let's, let's, let's just take a look. Let me, let me put them down so you can see it up close. So by Junior Junior has a, it has an EVGA 3060 GPU. It has 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and an i7 12700KF CPU. And just, I can't even look at it without feeling like all teary eyed because I'm just so proud. I love small form factor builds. So this is the smallest thing I've ever built. I built this purely so we could have something that you could just pick up literally, like you can literally pick this up. <laughs> it has a handle, like what? <laughs> this build was meant for you to just be on the go and you can still just pop in and have that smooth performance of running just an amazing stream. So this is our Byte Junior Junior. So happy for it. Now, of course, we uh, could always talk about our cameras as well. I would like to use my mirrorless Lumix G7 camera. So of course we'll make room for that. I am using that camera right now. So same story there. It has its own packaging, so I won't necessarily include it 
in this build because you can plug in any camera you want, just like really any other part on this build. But I will be sharing the parts list in this video as well, but you can also watch the build video. I'll, I'll be sharing that here in this video too. So thank you guys so, so much for watching our to-go box stream setup. We will be sharing all of the parts that we've listed today along with the prices in the description, but I'm hoping to give y'all some sort of graphic as well. We'll see, was Chelsea on it? We'll, we'll find out. We'll, we'll see you next time on Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, uh, that was our to-go stream. I can't wait to start streaming on it when we start traveling and we'll be sure to put out benchmarks and we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm proud. I hope you guys can take a note and you can either improve on it or share your builds with me as well. What are your to-go stream builds? Share it in our Discord, follow me on Twitter. You can at me and just drag me and be like, Chelsea, <laughs> what are you thinking? This is a lot. Go ahead, hit me up anywhere. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks guys.